guys so welcome to my channel um today i'm going to be doing a book box unboxing and i'm super excited this is my second ever book box so please come with me and explore these fantastic goodies that quotes and curses book box has given us for the may uh theme bloodthirsty heroines so first up, if you don't know what Quotes and Curses book box is, it's a monthly subscription box um, by um, an Aussie um, brand. They pick indie authors um, for each one. They all have beautiful hardcovers. And also I think it's four to six items from Australian sellers and creators. Um, this is my second box. First box was phenomenal. This box is also pretty phenomenal. I do prefer the first one, but I'm more into witchy stuff, and that one was witchy stuff. Don't mind the fangirl um, <laughs> manga right here. I um, am covering my address and stuff because I forgot to before filming. Um, but this is the box. Uh, this is the full box. Um, All together goes for 90 Australian dollars. That includes. Uh, shipping and every item. There's also the light and mini boxes, so it's a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, each box comes with a hardcover book and a bunch of goodies made by amazing and talented Australian creators. Alright, let's get into this. I have unboxed this um, before filming this. Um, I just decided to want to restart a booktube channel. So, we got the spoiler card here. I'll give you a proper look um, in editing. <laughs> um, and it has all the items um, for each um, each tier <laughs> uh, that you get. But yes, um, May, May's theme is Bloodthirsty Heroines. We'll begin with one of my favourites. So almost like every month they give, give out a candle, but they did this month, which I'm a little like, ugh, because I love candles. Um, I have like four right here <laughs> um but we did get by Ray's body and bath an Audrey from um stalking Jack the Ripper series um whip soap I've never had whip soap before um but it smells divine it's vanilla and black black raspberry scented um and it's vegan um I used it I need to work out the particular formula of how to like get the best with soap experience, but it left my skin Next so up soft. We have Craft of the Stars Handmade Scrunchie. Um, this is Juliet Kai themed uh, from Chloe Gong's um, These Violent Delights. I just cut my hair, so I can't really wear it in a scrunchie, but um, this is fantastically made. Um, I actually can't wait to actually wear it because. Once this grows out, I need to put it up for work and stuff, or studying or reading. Um, yeah, but it's just such, it's such a, like, gorgeous material. And I've definitely now followed them on, like, Instagram and stuff, um, because I want to check out more of their stuff. There's, like, a moth pattern, I think, and oh my god, I need it so much. Next up, we have the Nevertheless She Persisted um, Iron-On Patch. This one's from Jubilee oomph originals um and this is what it looks like uh she's gorgeous she's perfect i don't have a jacket or anything to put it on um as of yet i think i might have one in storage somewhere this is a jane austen themed patch um the store also has a bunch of pins and patches um i've been having a look out for some of them for, to maybe buy once my paycheck comes in <laughs> Next up we have this amazing print. Uh, I'll actually show it on screen in its full glory because it is so, so beautiful. It's of Inej and Nina from Six of Crows. Of course, our bloodthirsty heroines. This is by Alice Marie Powell. Um, this art, I can't wait to put it on my um, book thing wall next to the, next to the Serpent and Dove um, print that I have because <clears throat> that one is also just phenomenal. <laughs> They work with such good artists, like, oh my god. Now this one actually had an extra special, like, goodie, um, because it's the co-founder's birthday. Um, so they added this print of Eliza from their book of Lost Prince of Candria. I think that's how you pronounce it. I probably butchered it. 
Um, but yeah, um, the second book I believe is coming out this year in the series. I still need to read the first, but I do have it on my TBR. Um, but yeah, just a lovely print that's also going on my book wall. <laughs> this month an exciting thing is they gave us another book uh, apart from the book that we um that was already in the box we got an extra book and this one is saga of a fallen valkyrie by julie l kramer uh pretty short read could easily devour it in like a day um excited to read this is in like on top of my tbr um but definitely something that i want to check out and every month, um, the Quotes and Curses team um, do like a little sticker or some stickers, as well as some bookmarks, which I am starting to use. <laughs> um, I haven't really used bookmarks ever before, but now I'm actually starting to use them because I am getting them in book boxes and from certain Australian candle makers and stuff like that. So, very excited almost at the end so um we have a lovely quote from the actual book of the month which is no emotion no weakness no retreat and on the back we have a lovely um letter from the author of the book of uh, from cat powers um just telling us about what city whispers is about and you know everything that goes into an author letter each book from quotes and curses comes with a signed book plate um, I've already stuck mine in because I, like I said, uh, I have opened this book box. Um, but here is the stunning, absolutely stunning, and it feels so good, City of Whispers by Cat Powers. It's book one in the Imperial Assassin books. And I believe she is publishing her third book in the series later this year. I think book two is already out. Um, she's a little chunky, not, not, not too chunky, so easily like, you know, a week read kind of thing. Um, but I can't wait to jump into this. And that is the entirety of Quotes and Curses book box. Um, I absolutely loved it. I can't wait for next month's theme. It's to do with like political intrigue and all that. So, oh. <laughs> Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave links down in the description of where you can find uh, the creators of these items as well as the book box itself. Um, I hope everyone has a fantastic day and thank you for watching again. Bye!